called Audad sheep, and Audad sheep come from northern Africa. It's actually the Barbary Coast where these animals are native to. <laughs> Running! Mommy, wee! <laughs> these birds that you see here, Anytime you see either a silver or a white colored bird out here in the safari tour, they are called rias. And rias come from South America. They are the fourth largest flightless bird in the world. There you can see some baby rias right there. For about the past three weeks or so, we've had eggs that have been hatching. As we came through the electronic gate down there to start the tour, if you would have looked off to the right, there was a white bird that was standing up. There were some eggs underneath that one. This is what the eggs actually look like. And about five or six weeks ago, you would have male rheas out in, in the high grass. They'd actually build nests. I can show you a bird down here sitting on eggs. It's another one. Oh, look, there's some. Oh, we got one in the middle of the road. Run! Run! <laughs> there's the dumb eye one. Open their mouths like, oh, dear. Sitting. Deer. This area here off to the right is where the white tailed deer are. It's actually about 10 acres in size. So you're not looking at all the deer that we have here. Matter of fact, there's very few in the hollow this morning so far. Uh, but these are white tailed deer, the type that you'd see here in Pennsylvania. Take notice There's all the way right down here at the bottom of the hollow, you can see a couple buck down there. Yeah. Anything that is in the deer family. It's like, but you just start. All right, these birds are a little bit bigger than the silver and the white ones. Remember, I said the silver and the white ones are called rias from South America. This is what an emu looks like. The emu is the emu. second largest flightless bird in the world. The only bird that would grow larger than an emu would be a what? Ostrich. Yeah, the ostrich. They're really big, and we do have ostriches. Uh, but the emus are number two in the world, uh, as far as flightless uh, birds are concerned. They come from Australia. They'll actually grow to be about five to five and a half feet tall. Oh. Next to the bush. <laughs> these animals on both sides of the bus, the ones that are over here laying in the mud as well as these here in the right, they're called Asian water buffalo. And you're going to find these primarily in Southeast Asia. If you find a country where they grow rice, you're going to find these animals living there. They make excellent workers in flooded fields, and if you like mozzarella cheese, the best mozzarella cheese in the world is made by using the milk of an Asian water buffalo to make the cheese. Dropped your cracker. Dropped his cracker. Oh, wow. I'm probably get a good shot of him. And one of these, I'm not sure which one it is anymore. I know it's not the smallest one right here coming up to the bus. But one of the other five here ripped the fender off of this bus last week. Oops. I know that because I was driving it. When I brought it back, the headlight was just dangling. Don't sneeze. <laughs>